Hi, I'm Michaela Brown with Fit DC, and I have Mariah here. Hi. And we're going to do a quick five minute workout that uh, people of all ages can do young, old, in between, above. So let's set up. I'm going to have you start in a push up or a plank position. We'll go low impact into the plank. So we're going to set our shoulders up right over our hands if you're doing a plank. If you're doing a push up, we're going to open up those hands a little wider. We're going to start, Mariah, by just tapping out, okay? So this is your more low impact version, whether you're doing a push up or you're doing a plank, okay? We have the option now to add a jack, right? So if you can jack, jack, all right? Now, Mariah's doing her plank. I'm doing a push-up. We wanna take it to the next level. We're gonna add a push-up to that jack, okay? Of course, if you don't wanna go so high impact, you can keep on the plank and keep on the tap out. So we're gonna do this for about another 15 seconds, Mariah. I think I can get about two or three more in. Yeah. Yeah, girl, good job over there. Okay, one more. Excellent, come on up. All right, so we just hit the arms, the chest, the back. We're gonna stay down here and just continue through the core, all right? We're gonna start on our elbows, Mariah, okay? You're gonna open up to the front, okay? Into a side plank, full rotation. Gently come back onto your elbows into classic plank. Turn open the opposite way. Go ahead and continue, Mariah. All right, so this is your classic plank. This is a more modified version of your plank. If you wanna upgrade this slightly, you can take it up onto your hands. But either way, you're looking for full rotation and you're looking to keep those abs and those glutes engaged, okay? So we're gonna hold each plank position for about a half second. We have about 15 more seconds. All right, let me join you. So we're gonna open up. Good, we're all synchronized, very good. Squeezing the glutes. We have about 10 more seconds. Good, okay. So we're gonna firmly press that forearm into the carpet or the ground. Give me one more. Excellent, all right, come on up. Come on up to your feet. All right, so we're gonna go into a pulsing lunge here. These are my favorite. Let's face each other. Go ahead and take your right foot back, okay? okay. Yep, that's right. okay, that's okay. You're gonna hit the low range of your lunge. So 90 degree angle in the front knee, 90 in the back, shoulders up and you're just gonna pulse. Give me about one to two inches worth of movement here. And what we're doing here is we're keeping the constant tension on the glutes and the quads, okay? So we're gonna keep the shoulders directly over the hips, okay? We're gonna keep the knee right over the ankle and the shoelaces, no movement forward. Constant tension here, we have about 15 seconds. You have that 15? Oh yeah. You look ready. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good as well. So keep the abs and the glutes tight. That's for balance. We have about five more seconds. You're doing great, Mariah. Good, all right? You guys are doing great at home as well. Give me five, four, three, two. Come on up, shake it out. And you know we have to balance out the pain, Mariah. Oh yeah. So we're gonna switch legs. Go ahead and bring the other leg back. Before you go, set it up. Shoulders over the hips, drop into that low range. Look for 90-90. Ready? Let's go. Good, all right, so about one to two inches worth of movement. Okay, we're opening up the chest, keeping the abs super engaged. Every time we lift up, you wanna engage those glutes and use the big muscles in the body, not the little joints, the big muscles in the body to really create that movement. You have 20 seconds in you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, I love your style. Even if it means, even if she's thinking no, she's saying yes. yes. And yeah. <laughs> all right, we have about 10 seconds. Keep those shoulders right over the hips. Keep all the heavy weight over the area you wanna work, which is the glutes and the quads right now. Okay, and three, two, oh, yeah. and one. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, something. we're gonna end with a standing crunch. I want you to bring your arms up nice and high, Mar Mariah. Okay, we're going to lift our heel and bring our hand to the heel and meet right in the center, okay? We have about a minute, ready? Right. right hand first, let's go. One and two, good. Right, so this is a standing crunch, all right? Right at the center, keep going Mariah, right at the center. That's where I want that extra squeeze. To get that arm and that shoulder work here, you really wanna bring the arms back to the top. If you do have light weights at home, grab those light weights and add some bicep triceps into this. OK, 
okay? You're always punching at the top, squeezing. I wanna see wrinkles right in the center of your shirt to show me that you're really giving me that extra crunch, okay? We have about 10 seconds. Let's go. 10, push it. And nine, push it. And eight, how fast can you go, Mariah? I don't know, can you I beat see. me? Come on. Maybe. Come on, yep. And four, three, yeah, yeah, two, and one, very good. Open up that chest, slowly let that heart rate come down, okay? Open up, all right, go ahead and hinge at the hips. Keep the legs nice and long, stretching out quads and hamstrings. Okay, curl up slowly. Mariah, thank you. Thank you. You did such a great job helping me show all the fitness seekers at home how to stay safe, healthy, and find your fit with Fit DC. Hello, my name is Dr. Unique Morris Hughes, and I'm the director of the Department of Employment Services. And today I'll be sharing instructions on how to file an unemployment insurance claim with the District of Columbia. District employees may file for unemployment compensation